It's tool time, so here we go. Hi, today I'm going to show you one of my toys. Uh, I've had this for a while, and originally I got it for personal use because I have a lot of trucks and trailers and such, but um, then I started doing a lot of tires for fellow uh, uh, contractors and things like that that needs tires done. So I'm going to show you a once-over of this tire machine. Uh, this is a Triumph. It's an NTC 950 uh, tire changing machine. So I'm going to give you a real quick overview and then you can watch our next video how you actually change a tire with it. Um, but in this machine uh, you'll see it has four pedals across the bottom. Uh, the pedal on the far right will rotate your table. You push down and go in your normal clockwise motion. Uh, if you lift up with your toe, you can actually reverse it and go in counterclockwise. Uh, the second pedal uh, from the right uh, is actually your beat breaker. Uh, so this will break uh, the tire bead off of the rim and loosen it up. So as you uh, push this pedal, um, it will just squeeze against the tire like so allowing you to break the bead off the rim. Uh, the top part is actually the lever um, that takes the tire off of the machine. And it's adjustable based on the height of the rim. Uh, so you will loosen it up, put this down to the height of your rim, tighten it back up just like that, uh, and then you'll use the turntable to actually take the tire off the rim. The next pedal over uh, is actually the rim clamp. So with this tire machine, you can do an inside clamp, which is typical on any rim that's 13 inches or bigger, um, or you have to do an outside clamp on smaller rims, something that might be like 8, 10, 12 inches. Um, normally, what will happen is you'll push this pedal, and these, these feet will expand to grab the inside of the rim. And that will lock your rim in place. It will automatically lock the rim and center it in this spot. If you have a small rim like a mower or tractor tire or something like that, you'll expand it. And then you actually set the rim into these little sections right here. And when you retract it back in, it will grab the inside or the outside of the rim, uh, allowing you to hold that rim. Uh, when you do that, these become a little bit in the way. Uh, for when you go to mount the tire, the new tire that you put on. Uh, that's not the case when you clamp it with the internal, uh, when you clamp on the inside of the rim. Uh, so, uh, it has automatic uh, inflator tube. Uh, so this last button here is going to be a dual combination button. Uh, if you push it all the way down to the bottom, it will blast air out of the bead blaster holes that are located right here. And what that does is send a lot of air into the tire all at once in order to inflate it and set it on the bead. Uh, after that, you can move this pedal down halfway and it'll just blow out air um, to inflate your tire the rest of the way. And you can use the gauge right here to see where your tire pressure is at. If you need to reduce your tire pressure, you can just push this button as you're doing that. It'll let air out of the tire. Uh, up here, it shows you the overall pressure that you're working with. Generally on this machine, I'll work with about 120 pounds of pressure. Uh, in the back of the machine, right over here, there's a pressure regulator and an on and off valve. Uh, that way you can adjust the overall pressure you're working with if you want to do that. Um, on this area, up top, this arm swings across for different size rims. Uh, so, if you're doing the same rim over and over again, you can turn this knob in and adjust it so that it will go to the same stopping spot each time. Uh, same thing with this knob on the back. If you want to adjust that, you can just loosen this up, change this, and adjust it to one fixed location so that you don't have to adjust it each time. Uh, most of the time I don't use those because it's really quick to adjust, so I don't use those. This machine costs about $1,200. It comes with a few things, like it'll come with your um, tire loop container, it'll come with your brush uh, so that you don't tear the bead, but you'll need some other things too. You'll need uh, valve stems, 
uh, for your new tires. So I just keep all my little collection here, valve stems, weights I take off, uh, valve stem installer tool, um, stuff like that. So you need a little collection. As you can see on the wall, I've built up more than a little collection. I've got a bunch of tire tools, different valve stems for almost any type of uh, rim or tire that I need to do. Uh, so if you're looking for an economy tire machine, uh, I've been pretty happy with this one so far. I will say that these casted pedals are not the sturdiest. Um, a couple of these have uh, stops, adjustable stops. It's just a nut and bolt on the bottom of them. Uh, but when I first got this, the bead blaster tool, uh, sometimes you'll be using the tire and you're trying to lift up on it a little bit when you're trying to get air to inflate it. Well, you'll have a tendency to stomp down on this real hard while you're lifting. Well, after I did that five or eight times, I broke off this pedal. Um, I broke the section of the pedal off that mounts uh, internally in there, so I did have to get a new pedal. Uh, after I did that, I customized it a little bit, and I made a stop so that no matter how hard I stomp down on this, it stops and it hits the uh, stop bolt. Uh, that way it doesn't put excessive pressure on that. Uh, that's really the only problem I've had with this machine uh, this far. Aftermarket attachments you can get, um, add-ons that you can bolt right here that help you like lift. If you have really big or heavy tires, you can lift it up onto here. Now, that being said, uh, I did buy the aftermarket um, motorcycle slash ATV adapters. I'll show you what those look like. So this is what the adapters look like. And what these do is basically uh, you can attach them to these feet. Just like so. And you just put them on like this. And then it allows you to have a lot smaller area to clamp the rim. So you would put all four of these in. You buy them in a kit. And all four of these... Once you get all four of them in, you can do a really small rim, like about a four inch rim uh, with this machine. And sometimes this little arm right here is a little too big for that, but it's still a world of difference when you have something to clamp to because you can use your tire iron, uh, basically a spoon, just to pry the tire off. And when you have a fixed surface that holds your tire, these help a lot. Also, they're made for motorcycle rims also, they raise it up off the platform, uh, the turntable, so that you can put your motorcycle rim with your sprocket or your disc brake down and still have enough room uh, to mount your rim on there while you work on the tire. Uh, so these are kind of an aftermarket, they don't come with it. I want to say this extra kit here was about $150 for these, um, but mostly what I do are uh, trailer tires, equipment tires, mowers, ATVs, things like that. So these come in really handy for me. Um, so if you're looking for a tire machine, this might be the right one for you. It uh, has all the features that you need. It comes at a reasonable price range. And, um, and in our next video, we're going to show you how easy it is to change, let's say, a trailer tire with it. So keep watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel and share this video all about the uh, Triumph uh, 950 tire changer. Thanks for watching.